Hi, I'm Bob Ryan. This is Globe 10.0 with me today, the ubiquitous John Powers. You know, uh, we are now almost two weeks into the new Miami Heat era, John. And, and as you may have heard, LeBron James and, and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh have joined forces in Miami. And now we're hearing some from the old guys. Michael Jordan and, Larry, and uh, Mike and Magic Johnson are both on record, John, as saying, oh, in our day, we would have never have considered a thing like that. We just wanted to beat each other's brains out. What do you make of this? I think that that is probably true. Given the ego, egos that those guys had, and don't forget, they did play once. Dream Team, 1992. But they basically, Magic that, was at right. the end of his career, essentially. Well, Larry, Larry was, was at the very end. Very the end of his career. End. And that was basically, I, they never had to play a tough game together. No. And, and I question... Who would have gotten the ball with five seconds to go in an NBA playoff game? Well, you know, Michael going to get it. Larry going to get it. That's going to be very interesting. But yeah. that would have been. But here's here's my point on, on this. It's very easy to say, John, that we never would have done this because they didn't have the opportunity. The opportunity. There was a f no free agency. I mean, yeah. Now they were bred differently, and particularly the Magic and Larry thing. This had yep. this rivalry from the the Indiana State Michigan State championship game thing. Although they did play together, by the way, in <laughs> on a college all star culture. team also and team. loved playing with each other. Yep. Let's not forget that. Yep. They did love playing with each other when they had that one opportunity. Absolutely. I think also those guys had won something. One of the things driving the Miami That's thing it. is these guys are desperate. they got to win something. And, and you know, I would argue, let's say it's 1986, 87, Larry's won something, Magic's won something. So I don't think the people would, those guys would have gotten together for that reason. You're absolutely right. Magic yeah. won when he was 20 years old. Larry won the next year. They won back-to-back, -back 80 and 81, and so they had it established that they could so, win. What would have happened at age 32, 33? Remember, Larry's last championship came when he was 29 years old. Years old. He right. never won again after that. Yeah. What would happen if he was 30 to 1 or 2 and this suddenly this circumstance presented itself? Are you really telling me that they wouldn't have enjoyed playing with each other? That they wouldn't have been able to put aside the rivalry thing? I mean, I, it's all hypothetical, but I cannot believe that those yeah. two wouldn't have enjoyed joining forces. I'm uh, sorry, well, you know what? Two. Oh, yeah, well, I, 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 for Leave sure. Michael out of yeah. it. Well, and again, Michael's much younger, much, much younger. more dominant, yes. and, and my feeling is he says, hey, guys, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, you know, so it's easy yeah. to say, but we don't know. They weren't given, remember, there was no free, free agency. agency. Yeah. So it sticks in their craw, the, what they're seeing. They don't like the spectacle and all that. But I just want you to remember this much. They didn't have the chance. And, and, and it's all hypothetical. So let them, let them shoot off and let them spout off and be the wise old guys. But I don't think that uh, we're sure they wouldn't have loved to have played with each other.